When connecting an RFID controller to Ethernet, make sure both the power and Ethernet cables are plugged in tight. Next, check the LEDs. There's one link LED for each Ethernet connection. Make sure it's on. Of course, make sure the power is green and the graphical display is lit. Let's go ahead and configure the IP address first. Go into the gateway menu. Want to leave the DHCP off. And then use the enter key to select the digit that you want to modify of the IP address. You can use the arrow keys then to increment up or down the IP address number. And here we're going to pick 172.18.30.51. Once the unit reboots, we're going to go ahead, double check the subnet mask and gateway. Okay, just make sure the subnet mask is the same as the PC and the PLC that you're using. And then go ahead and double check the gateway too. You're really going to only need the gateway if you've got a router in the network. Once everything's done, you can hit escape, go back to the beginning. Make sure you reboot if any changes are required.